Polygon editing tools gives us the opportunity to prove our abilities by creating an idea. Suppose we want to model a crown. We shall get a cylinder. We shall resize the cylinder and then we shall select by right clicking the upper row of the vertex of the cylinder and we deselect the middle vertex, the middle single vertex and then we go to the added polygons and then we extrude the vertex. So after that we shall select the middle vertex and then we shall uh, move this vertex upwards. Now you can check the in this way we can model with a single click a beautiful crown. We can edit our polygons with a duplicate edge loop tool which is too much essential and important for us. Suppose we have a poly cube in our scene and now we experiment the polygon edge loop slip a split edge ring tool. This is a tool with the, this tool we can draw. We can draw a two dimensional line or edge exactly on our polygon where we want to place it. And we can model several shapes using this tool. Same like this tool, we have another tool in added polygons. It names duplicate edge loop tool. It has two edges at a time. One edge is the duplicated. In this way we can draw edges, double edges, like that. Suppose we want to model a diamond-like shape, it is too much easy. We shall get a polygonal sphere and we shall resize this sphere and then we shall go to the channel box and in the shapes node subdivision axis we shall dig uh, decrease the subdivision axis as our need and then uh, we shall decrease the subdivision height and in this way we will be able to model a diamond like shape. We often model revolved surfaces with NURBS and we never think about the poly that we can model the revolved, surface, revolved surfaces with the polygon. Although we can model the bowl type, bowl type, bowl shape like things which we often model with the NURBS, we can also model with polygons. If we have a cylinder in our scene, we shall go to the uh, uh, channel box and we shall decrease the value of our cylinder just like a pentagon and then uh, we shall resize it and uh, on y axis at this point we shall select the middle vertex from both side of our object and then we shall chamfer our vertex like this we chamfer the vertex and then we can move our vertex downwards in this way and so we can get the shape of our desire if we we can get more than this rounded shape suppose we have another polycylinder with the, a soft rounded shape 
just like this one and we select the middle vertex of our cylinder we go to the chamfer vertex and then again we select the vertex of both sides after chamfering and now we can make a bowl shape a bowl like shape with the help of poly if we hide the grid we can see our shape it is created with the polygon not with the nerves